I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in she might turn what's up y'all this is 1028 awakenings and i'm back again with another motherfucking video what it do y'all what's going on all right, let's see what our angels need to tell us. We got to talk to them more. Well, that's what they saying. you like, you don't never touch these cards. I'm like, I know. All right, so let's see what your angels want you to know internally and externally. For my Scorpios, I love you guys. Thank you so much for my likes, the shares, the subscribes, the donations. You know, y'all done subscribe to me like I'm Netflix. I appreciate you guys so much. I just got to take that time to tell you guys. We are still doing the pot um they've been up for two weeks i'm about to pick two new names if you want your name posted for everybody to send a dollar and 11 cents to you um we should do it all you got to do is cash at me one dollar and 11 cent which will be on the bottom of this video for your name to be posted so everybody can treat you like the you know collection plate at church okay so the two names that's posted on this video guys please go ahead and send your dollars to these people all right this is your way to get money back when you give willingly to somebody that you do not know to help them pay their car note they insurance i don't give a fuck what it is who cares we're gonna treat this like church but make sure that every um pot goes to everybody in the congregation that wants to get it okay this is not church i don't try to be church i do not preach i do not condone stuff like that i do not read scriptures i do not do any of the such but i do feel like if we all band together and throw a dollar to each and every one of us whenever we want to you know whenever the name pop up we'll be rich man simple simple all right so if you guys want to sign up for that you can do it all right so scorpio first card out it is time for you to let go of something here all right, so you need to work with your angels because it could be hard. You could be struggling to release this, but spirit is telling you to let it go. All right, let go of what no longer serves you in your purpose. Um, so you could be like wanting to go back over here like, dang, let me go, you know, let me just try. No, it's time to let it go, okay? Um, your third eye chakra is completely open. Damn, that wanted to come out too. And it's safe for you to see the energy of love. So Scorpio, once you release your third eye um, chakra is going to be open. Now, there is going to be some energy that's coming towards you that is actually uh, going to love you in some kind of way. They're going to really mesh well with you. Y'all can create a lot of stuff and y'all can have a lot of intellectual conversations. We have emotional sensitivity. Damn. So whoever the fuck you meeting, okay, this is going to be deep. All right. This is going to be a more stimulating relationship, um, but it's going to be like uh, stimulate your mind. You know what I'm saying? But it's also going to stimulate other parts of you as well. But this is going to happen after you release something. Wow, this person ain't even jealous. So this is going to be beautiful for my Scorpios that are entrepreneurs. Because sometimes I feel like y'all have a lot of relationships where people are jealous of your success, your growth, um, your work ethic. But this relationship will release jealousy. This person is going to be just as like, you know, determined or focused or driven as you are. Okay. And it's not going to be no need for competition, but the competition that y'all will have will be healthy where y'all are thriving and going towards your goals. This person is going to be very sensitive to how you love them, how you care about them, or they're going to do that shit to you. Okay. But there will be no jealousy. Um, and y'all will be thriving together. This is a nice ass mug. Let me, um, let me see when this motherfucker is coming in. All right. So this is really nice. So your angel is allowing you or helping you release something. As you do that, your third eye chakra is going to be opened up. But it's, it's happening the same time someone else is. And you and this person are going to speak a lot. So y'all going to have a lot of communication. Y'all could talk about the moon. Something is going on with the moon cycles here and butterflies. All right. But this person is going to be very sensitive to how you feel. Or y'all both going to be like this with each other. This is happening next month, okay? So next month, you or could be meeting this person. Next month, y'all relationship could be involving into something else, okay? Um, somebody else is not losing hope about being with you or being around you. 
um but they are releasing all expectations about being in a relationship with you okay so somebody else is letting you go and releasing you as it is on the crown but they are thinking about how they don't want to lose hope like somebody really feel like they really don't want to walk out they really don't want to not talk to you you know they really don't want to not fuck with you but that's just how it's looking okay and they releasing like you you don't have any expectations for this person so really what this is saying it's like you wanted something from someone and you was you were basically foom speeding it to foom, you know, like crumbing them. Like, this is what you got to do. If you do, we be happy. If if you just do this, I'll be happy, you know. But this person was like, bitch, I don't, I don't want to do what you're telling me to do. Like, I do whatever the fuck I want to do. But you was only telling this person because they weren't doing anything, you know what I mean? But you really wanted them to be there, you know. But you got to release that person with your third eye. You have to open up your eyes and see what's happening in front of you, all right. You also have somebody who is coming towards you to communicate with you about i don't know it's a lot of communication for real but whoever this is they're going to be very sensitive to how you feel and they're going to be very like emotionally attached to you in some kind of way like i don't know i don't know how to explain it but it's like you know sometimes you meet people and you got to tell them everything sometimes you got to meet people and you like wow i don't tell you shit and it just makes you want to like give to the person buy for the person pour into the person all right that's that Scorpio energy, man. You be like, God damn, you like amazing. So it's like after having something that was so harsh and rough, you're going to have something that's really beautiful and nice and soft and sweet and kind. Like just what you needed. Yeah, you have put boundaries around this person, okay? And it was blocking your creativity, okay? It says expansion, pursue bigger and greater endeavors. So whoever this is coming towards you, y'all can have some huge fucking dreams. Whoever the fuck this is, both of y'all have huge dreams. They like... They could be ridiculous, like, you know, you want a private plane. You're like, what the fuck? You know, like, my dreams. <laughs> okay, they could be crazy, but this person got stupid, crazy dreams, too. He did marble, whatever the fuck it is, they got crazy dreams. And they feel like they could do these shits with you, okay? Whoever this old person is that you got to release, this person is mad that you put up these fucking boundaries. And they mad that you saying that, that they blocked your motherfucking creativity. This person going to take a leap of faith, though. They going to take a risk um, on you. Um, and they're going to try to put in the work, and, but they didn't put it in before. I don't know what's, let me see. All right. So somebody who didn't put in no work, they're going to take a leap of faith towards you after they didn't put in no work. Uh, are you going to be okay? You do or this person watch you on social media. They, they're after walking away and you releasing somebody, they're going to try to take a leap of faith and put in some kind of work after that. They're going to want to try to fix it with you because they feel like you're worth it. But I feel like it's going to be too late. I feel like whoever this is that with emotional sensitivity here in reverse, I'm telling you, whoever this is, they're going to cater to your needs like no other. You're going to be like, what the fuck? It's going to feel like you got the jackpot. I'm telling you, it's, it's going to be crazy. The way that this person cares about you and pays attention to your ass, but they still have other shit. I'm talking about, and the reason why I'm saying that is because in this girl's hair, it's like the stars and fishes in here and butterflies and shells. And I mean, how the fuck do you do all these things in one day? But somebody does this. They do all of this shit and they see it. And whoever this is, they admire it. They love it. Yup, love is coming soon. I'm telling you, this person is going to love on you. But they also going to have a balance where they can go do their own work and do their own thing and have their own products and, and have their own endeavors. But then when they come around you, it's on like popcorn. Look, give, giving like a motherfucker. I got you some flowers. <laughs> You're going to be like, what? I didn't even tell you to give me no flowers. But they're going to get them. This person literally is going to be like amazing to you. And this is happening next month or right when you release something. You're going to see a lot of blue birds when this is really coming in. All right. Yeah. This person is going to be giving you gifts all the time. And you're going to be so shocked. Okay. This person is going to be really nice to you. Even if you a nigga, like she could just be surprising you with shit. You'd be like, damn, this girl really, you know, lunch. Like I got you lunch. Right when, right when your lunch started, you like, God damn, bitch. Did you time this perfectly? How the fuck? You know what I mean? I don't know if they sending it through Uber Eats, but damn. But this release or this energy pulling you to this new person that's calling you because they love you. You know, they want the same things. Y'all on the same vibe. It's going to trigger this old person to put in this work, but it could be too late. You could be tied up in the evenings with this motherfucker. I love y'all. Bye.